Hey loves, let's take a trip to the Lopino Historical Complex. going to walk through and see what we can learn today so let's go let's go hey. I think the dude often is this way So here we have the infamous Didit Oven, typically made from bricks, bits of tiles and lots and lots of mud. Recently they've started making it with clay as the flooring on the inside of the oven. I think even with that modernization, they still won't be the oven you're looking for for inside your home. I don't know, you tell me. Lopino is a quaint village named after a young knight who rose to the rank of Lieutenant General in the French army. After serving in France and the US, he relocated to an island that we now know as Haiti, where he became a successful sweetman, I mean sugar planter. Anyway, after losing all of his wealth, he requested ownership of land as compensation for having served in the army. When this was granted to him, he moved to Trinidad with his wife, kids and a hundred slaves. He used the estate to grow cocoa. So, if you're looking for a place to bring your own family that holds historic values while presenting a picture-perfect location for that lovely evening with friends and family, then Lopino should be at the top of your list. Okay guys, well that's all the time we have for today. I'm going to end the vlog right here. But when next you or your family and friends are on this side, be sure to come on down to Lopino and take in the Lopino Historical Complex. Until next week Saturday. Bye loves.